soldier until there is a cease fire. Palestinians are not only threatened by aerial bombardment, but by snipers and tanks that target anyone in their path. Their lives are in danger because it has been three months since the blockage that was keeping Gazan's children just above the malnutrition threshold for 16 years was severely tightened. For three months, water and electricity have been cut off and food trucks have been blocked at the border. The lives of Gazans are in danger as almost two million people have been forced to move south, fleeing pubs and land, sorry, and land invasion. They live in vicious sanitary condition with one toilet for every 700 people. They are in danger because the bodies of the Palestinians killed by snipers can't be recovered and their bodies are decomposing in the streets. Lives are in danger because the sewers are overflowing. All that is exposing people to many life-threatening infectious diseases. They are in danger because there is not enough medicine, electricity, water, and medical supplies to treat the sick or probably care for the 180 Palestinian women who give birth every day. Lives are in danger because just like Osama Abu Safiya, who was a medical student, Fatma Abu Salouf, who was a nurse, Sulaiman Sarardi, who was a dentist, Rana Shalabi, who was a nurse, Omar